Alright guys, so I am back with another video. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, set up this project now uh, that I've reduced it in size. So I just added the audio back because I had left that out. Um, so, so the total size of the project is probably about 50 megabytes now, which falls into the free range which means that I no longer need LFS. I've untracked the files. And so uh, this this shouldn't be costing me any more money going uh, forward. So it cost me $65 last month. So to get started, what we're gonna do is you're gonna go into, the, into Epic Games Launcher you're going to create a game animation simple project. It just needs to be a blank original game animation simple project. Um, after you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to clone this into a repository. So there's several ways that you can go about cloning this. If you've already cloned it, uh, then what you can do is from the GitHub desktop app, you can go under the repository or under file clone repository and under the github.com you can select that and then select the folder that you want to clone it under or you can uh, clone it using the url or you don't even have to do this actually if you just open with github desktop app right here inside of the uh the repo so you can open it right here and it'll automatically do that but if you already have one cloned then it won't uh, try to reclone it for you so just copy this uh, hyperlink right here and then inside of here you can paste it under the URL it'll say this just ignore it and then choose your folder and I don't want it under a subfolder, so I'm going to remove that last part of it. And then I'm going to I'm going to clone it. And you'll see now it has been cloned. And you'll see these files inside of this folder. All you have to do now is go into the folder where you downloaded the game animation simple project and just copy all of this stuff and then paste it in here. The config files I kept on mine so that you don't have to go back into the project settings and change uh, project settings. So whenever it asks you if you want to uh, replace those, just say skip these. Uh, and that's just the config files inside of here. Those five right there are the ones it was asking if you wanted to overwrite, which is no, you don't want to. Just after that, you just open this up and the, and from here on out, it's fairly simple, actually. The only uh, thing, because I didn't include the actual mesh of the UEFN uh, character, is that we actually have to add those virtual bones back. And so I'm going to go over that with you. So this will take just a second. It shouldn't be long. So after you launch it, it'll compile some shaders and stuff. And then over here, just in your world settings, expand the selected game mode. And we're going to replace this with my character. So under the DAO folder here, we're going to go under character data, char data, and select this guy right here, the CBP. And we're just going to press the back button here. And now it should say CBP underscore sandbox character underscore DAO. We're not done yet though. We need to open up the blueprint and go to the mesh and open up the skeletal mesh and then add a virtual bone by right clicking on the root and make it point to the root. And I'm just going to replace that R at the front with F for foot root 
And then I'm going to add foot L. I'm going to rename that. I'm just going to take everything off but foot L. Foot R. Take everything off but foot R. And then now that those virtual bones are out of the way, now we need to right click on the hand L and add a virtual bone pointing to the hand R. If you're rotating the hand, um, and we're doing the same thing there, we're just taking everything but hand R off. If you have an animation that rotates the weapon bone, then that virtual bone needs to be off of this weapon bone. Otherwise, when that weapon bone rotates, that virtual bone will not respect that rotation of the weapon in his hand. Oops. We want hand L on the right hand. And that's it. That's the setup. After that, you can just press play. And that's just for uh, this character here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is set it up so that we can uh, switch over uh, to these characters here. And so I'll go ahead and go over that. So those are under the characters folder. And if you go to them, you'll see that I have their blueprints in here. So we're going to go to the widgets folder and we're going to open up this widget. I'm going to select this guy first, which is the... UE5 Manny. And so I'm going to go into UE5 Mannequins. Select the Manny. And I'm going to replace that right there. I'm going to select that one. Go under, select the Quinn. And I'm going to replace that one. Basically the same thing for all of this. Kellen, and then this one, all bodies, and I didn't do that one or that one, so I, I might do those later, we'll see. Anyway, so I haven't actually tested this part of it out yet, so let's see if it even works. Okay, so it works, but you'll see that the weapon is on the ground. Uh, basically the same reason as before. If we go into the UE5 Manny, you'll see that it, it that it's looking for a weapon bone. I might even just call that weapon R. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, but we're going to select the Manny, open him up, and we just need a socket on his right hand. And we need to rename this to weapon R. And now you'll see that he's holding it. That's that's the downside of it, but in order to be able to prevent y'all from having to do that, then I would have to include the meshes, and I'm not going to do that because then we're back to the bandwidth problem in LFS storage. So unfortunately, that's not something I'm going to be able to do. So I'm just going to rotate this and place it in his hand, roughly. And that's pretty much it. Yep. So anything else you, you need to do on it, uh, you've seen the other videos, you can go under class settings, I mean class defaults, I always go up here, collapse all categories, expand the DAO, and under live retargeting, uh, you can adjust this held object definition or whatever you want to call that uh, data. 
and you have to close it in order to open it but anyway you can offset that you can go into these different states here's the aiming state right here and you can adjust the way his hand is positioned and everything so that his aiming is accurate you'll see that right now it's inaccurate uh, I may fix that in a future update. That stuff seems to have gotten broken, um, unfortunately. But I've done videos on how to do this, and it is somewhat of a uh, process. But once you do it for your character, it's uh, as long as you don't change the IK retargeter uh, in any way, then you won't have to... Uh, you won't have to redo this uh, these settings so in my case I did something that uh, during the migration that broke that I'll look into it but uh, anyway for now that's basically the setup I'll see you guys later